All right, what's up, everybody? Andy here. Now, I haven't made a YouTube video in a little while. Um, it's going to be a little update on the MDF table coming into the second summer with it. Uh, we're going to play just a quick rundown game, and then uh, we'll talk about a few of the good and bad things about the table after heading into the second summer with it. All righty. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for watching. Got the on the couch. Not too bad. A solid three. Ten ball strike. All right. Bad. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Still plays nice, still plays good. Had somebody who wanted a little update video on the MDF board, so uh, that's what we're doing. So I'll play this one game and then we'll uh, get down and talk about a few things that's happened with the table that I've noticed. You know, goods and bads. Ooh, I should hit that different one. Oh, good. I'm going to put a little update video, guys and gals. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching with me. Hmm. Draw that. That's really cool. Started off hot now, look like shit. Playing the first game cold, didn't even warm up. You know, that's how I roll. I guess true blue should have been switching sides, huh? Oh well. Wow. No shot on that one. All good. What's everybody up to? Did anybody go out and get them an MDF board? Did anybody get them a slate table? Let's see some feedback in the comments. Oh, two for. I like two for. against myself on the eight. <laughs> that how my luck goes. That was cracked. Just probably just call that a game. Doing pretty good in here. getting bored watching me beat myself. I'll finish this. Yes, use that board. Just look tired. I'll try to run it all the way down. Well, 
Anyways, quick little rundown on the table. So you can see the ball is rolled, still roll good, still play good. Um, let's uh, look down and see a few spots I've noticed on the table that are getting worse. And uh, this will be a little update review on the MDF. So let's go down closer and check it out. All right, so first thing first, I've had to fix a few pockets already, but uh, we play on this table a lot, all the time. These pockets start to fall apart, which are just held on by staples because, you know, it's an MDF board. It's not a, not a slate table, but uh, it's not a big deal either. You know, you just get you a new staple, staple gun, just staple it in. Or you could upgrade the pockets if you absolutely wanted to. But uh, that's one thing I've noticed as a flaw. These pockets over time start falling apart. They still play fine. I mean, but uh, helps to staple them back. So that's one thing. Then I'll show you one other thing that I've noticed. Something else I've noticed is uh, one of the bunkers is starting to fall. It doesn't really affect the way it plays. Like, it still has great bounce. I mean... You know, perfect, but uh, you can pull it up, it's just starting to sag. I have noticed there are some bolts underneath here. Maybe I can unbolt it and pull this whole piece off and just add some, some adhesive and stick it back on there. Maybe I don't know, but uh, other than that, you know, it's still playable, it's not really affecting the way the game plays, the ball still bounces just fine. But other than that, there hasn't really been any other big issues. The balls still roll great. Um, I do recommend getting a you know a better ball. This is uh, off the billiards website. It's a $230 ball, granted edition, and I hand wax them. Hand waxing is always recommended. I, I recommend it because it just on especially on MDF, it just makes the balls play smoother and faster. But, uh, heck yeah. So, yeah, um, that's going to be the end of the update video of the MDF table. Got Helios here. He just wants us. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for tuning in with me. And thank you all for watching. If you have any more questions on the MDF table, let me know. I definitely, it's not a bad solution. It's, it's definitely recommended in my opinion if you have a small space, if you want. If you're not sure, you want to keep the table where it is. Because it's easy to move my table. It only weighs almost 300 pounds. You can pick it up, turn it sideways, move it. Um, you can even flip it on the side, take the legs off if you wanted to. Slate table, you're not going to do that. Once you get it where it is, that's where it's going to be unless you hire someone professionally to come move it. So far, the felt's held up just fine. Uh, if it ever does start to rip or tear, I'll probably make a video on how to refelt an MDF board. If it's possible, and if it's not, you'll find out with me. So just stay tuned and hang out with me. Thank y'all. Like, share, and subscribe.